Westbrook Wall and Grove Artist Profile. We're talking with Dave Straub. Dave, you're a visual artist from Wyndham. Can you tell us something about what you do, Dave? Well, vi well let's see. Um, <laughs> what do I do? My wife and I have a floral and hallmark store, which is what uh, I do for a living. And I'm a painter and a visual artist uh, as much as I can be, which I try to get to a fair amount of time to do that. If someone were to walk into the Institute of Art in Minneapolis and see your work hanging up there, how would they know it? What would they, what would they see up there? <laughs> They'd be in the wrong spot. <laughs> um, how would they know it? I don't know. It would probably have borders around it, because uh, I like to work with borders. I put little, uh, little pictures in the border that uh, sort of tell things about the middle, and uh, um, it might be uh, painting, it might be watercolor and pen and ink probably brightly colored. Subjects? Anything in particular? Subjects, um, you know, I, I enjoy painting people, however, I've spent a lot of time just sort of exploring my imagination and uh, painting and drawing uh, imaginary jungle sort of people. Who uh, has been a major influence in your art and your development as an artist? Oh, probably locally Bob Remick, who's been painting for quite a while and has done quite a bit with collages. As far as other artists that I admire, uh, Alberto Giacometti, Mirandi, um, Alashinsky, um, I don't know, there are quite a few. If someone who's listening to us right now is interested in being a visual artist and they are maybe a little uncertain about their talents and their skills, uh, what kinds of things would you recommend to them? What should they do? Do more. Just keep doing it. Do more. It doesn't matter, in my opinion, what you do. It's a matter of doing it and continuing to do it. Because as you do something, one thing will lead to another thing, will lead to another thing, will lead to another thing. It's kind of a long path, a long journey that uh, where one thing leads to another. What happens for you when you create a piece? What sorts of things go through you? you know, is it a pretty private thing where you do a lot of experimenting first and then it comes or it's just kind of boom, it's there? What happens? It's kind of boom, it's there, I guess. Um, I'm, I'm not much of one to uh, um, sit down and be real fussy and, and plan things out. I kind of tend to, to do it and uh, have a couple different ways of working. One with the um, pen and ink and watercolor is, is pretty much direct and when I work with acrylics a lot of times I work with a lot of layers of paint so I'll do a painting and then I'll paint over the painting and paint over the painting and paint over the painting and paint over it again and then it's a matter of kind of knowing when to quit. Where will your art be in five years? What do you see as your future as an artist? <sighs> I don't know. That's a real tough question. I've never um, really pursued it on a commercial level. Um, Maybe that's question, yeah. Why, why, do you, why do you do this? Is it something you have to do? Is it, uh, what is it? Um, it's probably my only habit that I have left. I don't know. Um, People over 20, this is it? For some reason, I feel compelled to do these things, and uh, um, I have for 30 years now. Makes you feel better when so, you get them done? And, uh... I'm always surprised at where they go. You know, I mean, I, I feel like I'm continually learning and, and opening new doors and going around corners, and, and uh, I'll do something and see something in it, and then I'll see something else, and it'll take me another direction, and... and uh, I'm just sort of uh, caught up in the journey. Mm, all right. Is there any crossover between what you do as a visual artist and the other work that you do? You, you mentioned being a, a florist. Uh, I assume that there are a lot of parallels of things that, that you use from your art that, that help you out? Or, um, you yeah, there are, but I keep them pretty much separate. I mean, they're, they're not... I think the art background helps with, you know, doing flowers. Um, okay. If you had a few last words for people that are listening, what would they be about being a visual artist or if they wanted to be a visual artist? 
Well, it's hard to talk about being a visual artist. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, you know, I, Why do I talk um, about it? I mean, I hate it. You know, right. if you want, to, you want somebody to talk, it's, find somebody in the literary arts, mm -hmm. right? Well, um, yeah, but we need... Uh, <laughs> I think it's, it's, it's an enjoyable journey. I mean, it, uh, I would encourage them to approach it that way, that, that it's a way for them to learn more about themselves, to tell more about themselves, um, to find out about the rest of the world, to explore. Um, just, it's, it's an exploration. It's, it's like, you know, opening your eyes and, and trying to see things around you. Um, it's about not being bored. Um, okay. Thank you, David Strom. This is Westbrook Walnut Grove, Artist Profile. Thank you. <laughs> yeah.